Hello, so we would like to solve the watermelon problem today. The problem states that one hot summer day, Pete and his friend Billy decided to buy a watermelon. They chose and the biggest and the ripest one in their opinion. After the watermelon was weighed and the scale showed 30 kilos, they rushed home, dying of thirst and decided to divide the berry. However, they faced a hard problem. Pete and Billy are great friends of even almost that. That's why they want to divide the watermelon in such a way that each of the two parts weighs even number of kilos. At this, at the same time, it is not obligatory that the parts are equal. The boys are extremely tired and they want to start their meals as soon as possible. That's why you should help them and find out if they can divide the watermelon in such a way. For sure, each of them should get a part of course ticket. So we will be given an input number an integer number and we want to output a yes or no statement based upon that so uh, let's head on to coding part and so given the test case 8 we won't have to run a, any number of uh, test cases uh, only one input is given and uh, therefore the so for the for the part of the uh, number I have uh, taken long long and equal to one and then input the number into the end. So as we get the input of eight, we need to check if we can divide it into two parts of even uh, even weights with the uh, with positive weights and both even. So let's see if uh, uh, the numbers start from one, two, three, four, and five and so on. So let's uh, let's see if this uh, this holds true for one so for one this doesn't hold true as we can divide it into such two parts and for two we can see the we can divide it into two even parts that is zero and two but zero is not positive weight so we don't have the same for this and for three uh, one of the parts must be odd and so this is also not true and for four we can do the uh, we do uh, we can do the divisive part and that is we can divide it into two and two that is both positive bits and both even bits and uh, for any odd number we will get an odd part if we do try to divide so uh, for any odd number it's not possible uh, but for like uh, six we can get four and two and similarly for eight we can get six or six and two or four and four so this holds true for every other uh, every other even number than two so we just need to check if n remainder when divided by 2 is 0 and n is greater than 2 in which case we print yes and return but if any case we don't run into this statement we need to print no so we get this let's see we get an uh, output as yes as you can see here and for two we should get an output of no and this is working fine and for one we should get an output of no yeah that's so our code is working fine let, let us try and submit this code So we see the code is accepted and so this is the solution for the work.